This is the U power battery free kitchen scale. You can use this in the kitchen to measure the weights while you're cooking, or you can use it to measure food portions and while you're going on a diet or something like that. And the idea is that you can never have to worry about battery um, and be able to uh, measure whatever it is you need. So it's a pretty simplistic packaging, similar to what you see in a lot of Anchor stuff or Aki. That's in that same vein of the Made in China packaging, uh, simplistic style. And that's the knob that's going to be used as the um, mechanism to generate power. Got to use a simple manual instructions on how to use it. There's not a whole lot to it. It does support a number of different options. Quite a bit of packaging. It's got some of your standard warnings. Bags are dangerous. We know this. Now, when I got it, this is this scale had some issues with the lamination or the sticking of the this top metallic plate uh, directly to the uh, rest of the assembly. And it's already, I understand that this is less than 20 bucks on Amazon, but wow, that's, you know, this is a scale that should be able to, you know, be somewhat well constructed. I've had other scales in the $20 range that didn't have that issue. So, good for the packaging. It's got a standard LCD. It's not, nothing lighting up or anything like that. Now, because there's no battery, you're going to have to power this up every time. I don't know this for sure, but I think it's accurate when it says battery free. I think this is using a capacitor, which means it's going to only be able to measure for short periods of time. So you'll notice you can listen when I'm turning. It makes a lot of noise. And anybody who's ever had a battery powered radio or anything else that uses a, um, you know, a, a self generator. Um, we'll notice that, you know, makes a lot of noise and it's very similar. And it, this is what charges up what I believe is a capacitor. Now, it's a digital scale. It uses the smaller pixels for the digital uh, numeric values, which I appreciate. I'm not a big fan of the uh, lower resolution screens. Um, it's not going to win any high resolution awards. Now, no matter how long you're going to twist this for, it's still not going to go for very long on a single charge. Uh, I've tried it a few times. It barely lasts a few minutes. Now, there is a T button over here for tear, and the instructions also seem to give you a mechanism so that you can go ahead and uh, change units as well. On the bottom is the units button. Now, it says max 5 kilograms or 11 pounds uh, at around 0.05 ounce increments, one gram increments. Um, that's good enough for what I was trying to do with it, but this noise, if you're going to be using this in an environment where other people are going to be, it's just too loud if you're going to be doing this in a quiet office environment or um, where your other people are just trying to worry. So it's not really ideal for what I expected. Um, the problem is you'll notice it's fluctuating pretty heavily. I haven't touched it now it, it does it did normalize to zero right now and I did hit the T button to make that happen but I'm having trouble getting it to measure the right weight or forget the right weight the same weight more than once um, any given time that you use the scale and that's a big no-no that's that's violating the zeroth law of thermodynamics of having two measurement units uh, be able to measure the same thing I mean it's kind of going to be useless if it can't measure the same thing more than once and get a uh, the same reading. So right now I hit it up to zero. Um, let's go ahead and measure something that we just had here. We have the part of the packaging for the scale. I'll go ahead and put it on. Now this is larger than the scale itself, so you're not gonna, already going to have a difficult time measuring it uh, because it's uh, touching on the sides. Right now it's got uh, a reading of 11 grams, but if I take it off and put it back on, you'll see sometimes it gives you the same weight sometimes it doesn't now it's more it's supposed to give you one gram increments but that's that's already a pretty big uh, gap let's measure something else so I have a, 
another thing, a, a full RAV power uh, external battery charger, uh, the battery pack. And I'm going to go ahead and tear the scale again. The fact that you have to do that is a little bit irritating as well. The fact that you're constantly having to tear this thing. I've had other scales that don't need to be teared quite as frequently. And this does fit completely on the unit. So with all the packaging, it's an unopened box, 3, 75, 36, and already the battery's starting to go. So and when the battery's low, it starts misbehaving pretty badly. So we're teared still at zero. Now it's 367. That's a big difference. We're not talking about small differences in the weight when it's normalizing. I don't like that about this scale. Um, basically, it's so inaccurate that I just, it's, it's not worth anything. So this is going right back. Um, and if you guys have any comments, what, I mean, what do you guys think? You think this is a worthy scale, useful? You think it, the convenience of hit getting somewhere in the ballpark of plus or minus 10 grams for the ability to have a zero uh, battery situation that you never have to uh, replace is worth it? Or you know, would you rather have something that's a little bit higher quality with better um, reviews and a battery that, okay, you have to replace it maybe once every two years with a lithium button cell or something like that. I'm going to take the lithium button cell. I have another scale I had purchased earlier. Um, my wife stole it because it was so nice. So, yeah, I think we're going to go with uh, the verdict on this is, is very bad. It's going back. So, uh, thank you, everyone.